Right, guys. So remember what we indicated earlier at the beginning of the lesson. We said to master this topic of natural resources, we must be able to distinguish between non-renewable and renewable resources. Very important to draw the line between renewable and non-renewable resources. So what are the non-renewable resources? It's very important in simple terms. A renewable resource is that resource that can be used repeatedly and replaced naturally. A renewable resource is that resource that can be used repeatedly and replaced naturally, meaning nature can provide us with this, nat with this natural resource and we can consume it. And the nature would be able to replace it again for for the future use on daily basis and we will be able to use it again repeatedly and what are the examples of renewable resources in the economy that we may have for the purposes of this lesson we may refer to oxygen we consumed oxygen today and provided you and i we still wake up our life tomorrow we will consume oxygen again tomorrow irregardless of the fact that we have consumed oxygen today because nature would have replaced that oxygen tomorrow and we will be able to use that oxygen the fresh water again fresh water guys you do uh, have a running water at at home so the tap will give you the fresh water uh, today as it did from our taps and businesses also got the fresh water from their taps when they're producing goods and services and government also ensured that it supplies the fresh water to to the citizens as it's part of its uh, public sector uh, public goods provisioning tomorrow we will be able to run to our taps again to get fresh water irregardless of the fact that we consume fresh water yesterday because the nature has replaced the water and we'll be able to get the fresh water and that also goes to solar energy and so forth then the non-renewable energy or non-renewable resources rather what are the non-renewable resources non-renewable resources in simple terms these are the resources that does not renew itself at a sufficient rate for a sustainable economic extraction in meaningful human time frames meaning these are the resources that do not renew themselves very important and as i indicated earlier at the beginning of the lesson i made a mention that coal is a sunset uh, a coal mining rather it belongs to the what we call the sunset industry once we extracted coal once we run out of coal from the mine coal cannot regrow again coal will not grow again similar to gold similar to to diamonds once they're extracted they cannot be reproduced again by nature as a result we consider them to be non-renewable resources so we may refer to the gas as well we may refer to uh, fu uh, fossil fuels once they are extracted from the ground and they've been burned either to to become petroleum and so forth they cannot be uh, they cannot be produced again by who by nature because remember we're dealing with natural resources those resources that are produced by nature or that are provided or supplied by nature not man made i'm still together so it's very important for you to be able to draw the line between renewable and non-renewable uh, resources you might get a question in section b that would say for four marks distinguish between renewable and non-renewable resources you may get the question that said briefly describe the term non-renewable resources or renewable resource you must be in position to to do that are we still together right so we are now going to to discuss the characteristics of natural resources which are also very important guys first thing first natural resources are scarce natural resources are scarce meaning they are not enough in the world for everyone very 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 important and we have just made an example of coal coal is limited guys coal is very scarce that is why other countries have coal other countries do not have coal even us who have coal we are closing some of our coal mines because we are running out of coal yet we still need coal in order to generate energy and other coal related products we're still together
So natural resources are very scarce. That is what is important. The first key characteristics that you must remember and know about natural resources. Secondly, natural resources have a price. Remember, in the definition we spoke about the resources that are provided by nature, that has what? Economic value. So people must pay for the use of natural resources in this context, meaning we refer to economic goods, the natural resources. So for people to get gold in order to make earrings or in order to make uh, rings or in order to make uh, necklaces and so forth, they need to pay for that gold. Diamond is a natural resource. It's used to make earrings and rings and so forth. But in order for jewelers to make uh, rings out of diamonds, they need to pay for that diamond. Are we still together? Yes, very important. And then what we're also going to understand is that hey, from the example that we have made, coal, ESCOM in order to generate electricity, it needs coal. But ESCOM does not have the mines that has coal, so it must buy coal. Therefore, natural resources have a price. And fourthly, guys, natural resources, they are unevenly distributed. There is an uneven distribution of natural resources across the world. What does this mean? It means they are not spread equally across the world. I'm going to make an example. Oil, crude oil, South Africa, in order for us to produce petrol and so forth, we have to import crude oil from the countries like Saudi Arabia or Nigeria, depending on which country we do trade with uh, in as far as oil is concerned. Other countries are rich in oil, but we don't have it. Yet oil is a natural resource. But South Africa is rich in gold. South Africa is the richest country when it comes to gold. The countries like Zimbabwe, the countries like United States, the countries like United Kingdom of Great Britain, uh, the countries like Scotland, the countries like uh, Malawi and so forth, they are not rich in gold, but South Africa is rich in gold, which is a natural resource. But we don't have oil. South Africa is not rich in water, by the way. If you are reading the news and you must investigate this is very important south africa we get our more most of our water we get it from lesotho through the Kati dam agreement that south africa has we are not rich in water as much as we have the rain for south africa is not rich in water we get water uh, as much as yes we do have water in our reserves but we depend on lesotho for water and water is a natural resource this all together Yes, so they are unevenly distributed. And lastly, one of the characteristics is that these natural resources that we refer to, they add value to the natural resource. And what does it mean? It means most of the resources need to be changed into useful product for consumption, which will make that particular natural resource useful. Are we still together? If there's any question, please ask them. But those are the characteristics of natural resources they are scarce natural resources have a price they are unevenly distributed and they add they add value in the in the economy fantastic